Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Every season, um, very early in spring when I put my plants outside, they get attacked by aphids. So recently when I did my pepper updates, people were wondering what the bottle is that was sitting in the raised bed. So uh, today I'm going to answer that question by showing you what exactly it is. And the purpose of this bottle here is uh, to attract ants because these ants here, they're like the sugar ants and they love to farm aphids off of uh, uh, any trees or stuff that you have. So they carry the aphids there and then they uh, farm them and then the aphids would suck the sap off of the plants and then they'll um, spit out these really sweet um, juice and then the ants would just eat that because <laughs> they, they just love that stuff so um, I've had a big problem with these aphids because the ants here keep carrying them all over my plants this is the Asian pear and we keep getting aphids uh, every few days even after I squish them and then uh, a few days later the ants carry them back and it's easy to tell uh, kind of when you come out here because uh, if you lift up the leaves, then you see the ants start to scatter. And then you look at the leaves under there, there would be aphids um, just there attacking the leaves. So um, the method that I use here is a water bottle. And then I, I filled it up with borax, honey, and sugar. And then a little bit of water, just shake it up. And I left it underneath, uh, you know, the spot where the ants can get to. And I cut a tiny hole there. And then they can get in and and take up the trap okay and then uh, they'll they'll just die after eating that so that's how I control it so today I'm gonna show you how exactly I make it it's very very simple and uh, all you need is uh, borax sugar and honey and a little bit of water alright guys what you're gonna need is a bottle of water here just an empty container and then you're going to need some borax and I got this from Walmart some sugar, any type of sugar you would like to use, and some honey. This is really old honey that kind of like coagulated and couldn't uh, become liquid to pour out. So I had to heat it up in the microwave to get it <laughs> to be like this so the bottle is all messed up. So anyway, what you need to do first is get some borax. I don't have the exact measurement, but I usually go with like... Uh, one spoon of uh, of this just like a big nice spoon of it and you want to put that in there and I'll just do it a little at a time because the container ha the, the opening is very small you don't want to spill anywhere okay so that's uh, how much I usually use it's about a full spoon of that usually and then you want to pour a bunch of sugar in here. The more sugar, the better because ants love sugar. So we're just going to pour some in. Plenty of sugar, lots and lots of sugar. And then I'm going to pour a little of this uh, old honey in here. It's kind of liquidy okay so that should be enough and then we're going to close it up and mix and just mix it all up and just add a little bit more water uh, you want it a little you want it to be like a little bit crystals so that the ants can carry it back to the their home yeah, you can have it all liquid. I do it both way. Uh, the liquid kind killed them immediately and the granular kind, they can carry it back to the nest and then destroy the rest. Okay, we're pretty much done now and it should look like a paste. You can have it a little bit drier if you like. Uh, so when it's drier, it's sort of like crystallized particle and the ants can actually take those particles and carry it back to the nest and then they'll, it'll destroy the rest but uh, if you make it really liquidy then they'll just drink it right then and then they'll just die right there so next you need to cut a small opening to allow them to get in so let's take this outside and i'll show you 
Okay, we'll just need to cut a small opening anywhere. I usually do it around right here. It doesn't have to be very big, just enough for them to get in. And you don't want anything else to get in here, like if you have pets and stuff, and this would not be good for them. So it's the smaller opening, just enough for them to get in. And then you put it under a spot where you see most of those ants hang out. Okay, so here's my other one that I placed, and it actually got rid of a ton of ants. You see, if I pick up the bottle, you can actually see some in there. See, they're, they're dead in there. So uh, this area used to have a lot of ants, and then after I placed the bottle there, they're pretty much almost gone. You really don't see them anymore, so it actually works really well. And then there as well, that's where I placed the other one. And this area also has a lot of those ants. And they're basically just disappearing slowly. So um, uh, that's a good sign. Okay, and here I see a bunch of these black ants. So uh, I'm going to put this bottle right here. So you want the opening facing up so that it doesn't spill out. Kind of like that. So there's the opening right there. And see these, there's ants around. So eventually they'll make their way over here. So just leave it there. I mean, it's a bottle, so uh, the rain doesn't affect it because the opening is pretty small. So it's very unlikely that raindrop will get in. But, um, that's usually how I do it. So let's go back and take a look at our other ones that we started in the beginning. All right, so here's the the one that we saw earlier that has a ton of ants there. And a lot of them died in there and some of them just uh, ran off and they, they never came back. So um, this, this tree here was infested with aphids and it's all because of those black ants, but now they're no longer around. So um, just make a few of those, they're very easy, and just put them around your garden where you see a bunch of ants. Um, and uh, it, it slowly you will see them start to disappear. All right guys, it has been three hours since we placed a trap here. And look at that, there's a lot of action going on there. The ants are going in there and eating the bait, and more of them are coming. So uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty effective method to control them um, it may not get rid of all of the ants but it will sure bring the number down so uh, try it out I think this method works really great and I've been trying it all season and uh, I really like the result of this anyway guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe